So Corey, what, what are we gonna do here? All right, um, I just got my dots in the mail. Okay, fabulous. And I'm going to copy your ukulele and put the dots where um, they need to be placed on the frets. So um, you can teach us ukulele. I am so excited to teach you ukulele. Okay, so I'm gonna start um, with the red, red dot. Awesome. And I'm gonna peel the wax paper back so I could get a good grip on it. And then I have tweezers, which makes it easy to just pull it right off. And then I'm gonna count down each fret to see where it's at. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on the first string. Awesome. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And is this first string a C? Uh, the um, string itself is an A. It's oh, an it's a an sound. A. Okay. Yeah. A. Okay, you did really good. It's centered and it's on there. Now I'm gonna go to yellow. I'm just gonna make sure it's not poking up at all because we don't want it to in, get impinged with the, okay, I think we're good. Great. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the yellow dot and I'm gonna count down one, two, three, fourth fret mm -hmm. and then one, two, third string. Exactly. One, two, three, four and third string. And then I want to keep it as close to the line on the fret but by not, the metal. Yes, but not not looping, not um, not touching, climb, not climbing up on it. Okay. Yeah. So make sure it's still on the wood. Yes, exactly. Okay. Excellent. Awesome. So now blue. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to peel back. Grab my blue dot, and I'm gonna count down, one, two, three, and the first string. One, two, three, and just I wanna make sure it's really centered well here. Mm-hmm. How's that, Melanie? That's really good, Corey, excellent. Awesome, and then I'm gonna grab the green and put it right next to the blue on the second string and just make sure that I center it well and not have it touching the blue. Excellent. There we go. And people who have really skinny necks, their their colored dots might like overlap each other a little and they might come off the edge a little bit. They might like be like coming off the edge, and which is okay. They can just like this one, they can just like, it just bends over or over time it may, that little bit may just tear off and that's okay. Okay, so they uh, they would fold it. Yeah. Okay, another green, we're on fret two, first string, one, two. And make sure that lays flat. How's that? Perfect. And then we got another green on the same fret but it looks like it's string three, one, two, three. Exactly. And those three together, one, two, three, um, make the G chord. And the, the word green starts with a G. So that's how we like to think of that. Nice. Now I'm getting the pink and I'm staying on the same fret, okay. but I'm going to be going to the fourth string. Mm -hmm. This one might need to bend over a little it bit. It can. So I'll just make sure that that's on there. And we can think of that as pink or fuchsia. And fuchsia starts with an F. And so the two pink ones together make the F chord. Wow. So fuchsia. Okay, so I grabbed another fuchsia, mm -hmm. and okay. I'm going to um, fret one, string two. Exactly. One, two. And then uh, purple. Mm -hmm. 
and purple is going to be on the first fret and we got some leftovers just in case there's a mistake because I already oh, made a mistake <laughs> earlier so I'm going to put it on the third string mm -hmm. and it looks like we're done yeah you are ready to play